Pixel Kin. Learn the difference between nudity and nudity on This Week in Family Gaming. Hello, Pixel Kenners. You know we're all for reading the ESRB's content descriptors before you buy a game. They're usually a pretty good idea of what you can expect, and that's especially important when you have tiny impressionable minds running around your house. But what the heck is partial nudity? And what's the difference between sexual themes, suggestive themes, and sexual content? Casey Young breaks it all down in this week's installment of her sex and video game series. One of the great points she makes is that there is a difference between nudity and sexually suggestive nudity. To learn more about how to distinguish between ESRB content descriptors, check out that article on the site. I love playing games with my friends, but when a big group of us get together, it can be kind of hard to find something we all like. Lots of families have the same problem. Not every game is built for more than two people, and not every game is fun for everyone. I know probably a lot of my friends would like to be allowed to stop playing Little Big Planet. Well, that's just too bad, isn't it? In order to make it easier for you to find games for your next family game night, I put together a list of games that support three or more players, and they're all family appropriate too. Don't miss reading that full list on the site and make sure that no one gets left out next time you play together. Independent games or indie games are bigger now than they've ever been before. I mean, the ubiquitous Minecraft started as an indie game. If something that big can be indie, then what does indie even mean? Nathan Munier has written up the ultimate guide to indie games. If you're new to gaming but want to take advantage of some of the most interesting creative games out there, this is a great place to start. Video games can actually be used to help treat kids with ADHD. Dr. Randy Coleman of Learning Works for Kids discusses how sports games especially can help kids with ADHD get the exercise that they need to stay focused. Read more about the ways that new tech can be used to treat ADHD on the site. Thanks for tuning in this week. Remember to subscribe to this channel for more family gaming news and get the full story at pixelkin.org.